Good day students, it's Dr. Fanamava speaking. I hope you're well and keeping safe and sound in lockdown. Some people have been struggling with the free textbook downloads that I sent you a message about the other day, so let me talk you through it quickly. If you go, for example, to the announcement where it says online teaching and learning 4th of May, and you scroll down to that particular announcement, you'll see there are three points there on how to go about accessing these free textbooks for the rest of the year. The first step is to click on that website and that takes you to their home page. Once you're there, you'll see this pops up and up here it's the free access books that you're interested in. What I would do, however, is first download the Snaplify Reader app, which you can do by clicking on this tab. Once you've downloaded it, it looks like this. If I open mine up, you can see I have um, already downloaded a couple of textbooks. I've just done a digital thematic atlas which is still downloading you can see there from the uh, status bar that it's downloading that at the moment but let's go back to that web page to show you how to do it once you've signed up and you've got a username and a password to the site you will then need to log in over here up here right so let me just sign myself out to show you what it would look like for you that's the home page you're gonna get with that announcement about COVID-19 at the top there telling you that the books are free until the 31st of December this year. Right, so we can just close that little message. Once you've got the app installed and you've registered on the website, you then come back here and you sign in to uh, the website. You'll see my details are saved there. There's my username and my password, which is just dots, thankfully. And you hit sign in with Snaplify. Once you're in, it'll then take you uh, back to this you can say go back to the home page and once you signed in you now have to um, basically search for the book you're looking for okay make sure that you see this find e textbook and learning materials over here um, otherwise I think if you put in let's say grade uh, 8 social sciences as the um, keyword for the book you want to search right the problem I think most people have been um, experiencing is that it takes you to this shop page and then it actually tells you that you have to pay for the ebook uh, which is not the case with um, this free software so go back to the home page and make sure you've clicked on this free access books tab on top here but you have to be signed in as a user so you see I'm signed in as myself I've clicked on that tab and then you'll see at the bottom here appears all the titles there's an accounting textbook English Zulu etc type in now your um, grade 8 keyword here I'm looking for a grade 8 social sciences textbook and then you'll see it's advanced so you just hit enter or you can click advanced that's fine and it'll take you to this page if you don't do that you're going to end up going to this page and there it tells you you have to pay 84 rand, 68 cents, etc. for this, which um, is not what we want. We want the free access site. So now I've found one. Let's see. I want to choose this one by Via Africa. I click on that. You'll see it's a PDF. And then on the right here it says add to my library. So you click on that and then it'll add it to your app, into your library of the app. Um, if I go back to the app now, over here you'll see there are downloaded books over there those are the ones that have been successfully downloaded but then if you click on the all tab you can see now mathematic atlas is still downloading because that's 518 megabytes but here is the PDF coming from the grade 8 via Africa social sciences textbook you'll see in my library I've got EPUBs those are interactive textbooks where you can click on links and it takes you to YouTube clips or there's a simulation or some sort of a, a visual um, activity but most other PDFs are just electronic textbooks a paper-based textbook that's been PDF'd so that you can use it online or through a reader such as this Snaplify reader over there I hope that helps all the best and good luck stay safe and stay sane